I slept in a bus. That's what you missed, guys. We're back. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Previously, with that exact person who will remain unnamed, like in a Walmart, I was just like, okay, we got everything we need here. Good. Nope. Look away. Walk away. Goodbye. So you would just flat out ignore a person if you disliked them that much, or if they betrayed your your heart soul that much. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know that it's about... At this point... So here's my theory at this okay. point, right? At this point? Like, even if someone that I cut from my life because they were toxic, or they made me mad, or... They made your best friend I didn't enjoy in what they were penis. doing at the time, or who they were hanging out with, or whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Um... Even if they came up and they were like, hey, I'm doing so much better. I'm none of those th- things that you didn't like now. And I'd be like, hooray, good for you. And they'd be like, so can we hang out again? And I'd be like, no. And here's why. Because I'm not mad about, like, anything anymore. Like, I don't hold grudges. I'm not pissed. Any of those people that I don't want to see who just made me, like, way too angry on a, in, like, on a regular basis... I'm not angry about that shit anymore. Yeah. And I just know that if, like, I hang out with those people again and they make me mad in the same ways or in, like, new ways, it's just going to bring back that old anger. Hmm. I want to get to this thing, but I don't want to hit that bit of shit. Okay, I hit it. Did you hit it? No, I didn't. Okay. I'm a master at raft navigating. Are you? Yeah. Because it seems like it. Yeah, because... Okay, so I'm not mad about any of that shit anymore. Yeah. So, like, at this point, I can look back on memories with those people and... and enjoy those memories. And enjoy the memories, like, as they were... As memories. At the time, like, oh, we were so happy then, and I don't, like, remember the anger that was always simmering under the background of these memories. Like, they've mm-hmm. taken on that glow of that memories get where you're just like oh everything was perfect and i just know that if i hang out with those people again and they start making me mad again yeah all that old shit's gonna come like all that old anger is gonna come back and all those memories are gonna be tainted again Mm. and so i would rather just be like no good for you getting your life together whatever we don't need to be friends again like I'm yeah. going to keep my old memories untainted exactly. and glowing as they are now. Right. Like, I mean, just, I mean, like, okay, well, I mean, I, I, I get that. I mean, I also, like, I'm a big believer in second chances, so, I, it, it, like, where we... Ooh, water. Were... Free water. <laughs> is that exciting? It is exciting. Oh. Anyways. Just wait till we die of dehydration, then you'll be excited. Okay. Well, anyways, like, were we, were we kind of, like, split paths on that? Would be like, if there was someone that I just absolutely don't like and don't want in my life, and I'm just like, look, like, because let's face it, you know what? There are billions of people on this planet, right? Yeah. So, obviously, there's a there's a decent amount of those people that are complete horrible people, you know? Yeah. Just absolutely horrible people, and you know what? Maybe they'll change, maybe they won't. But at a certain point, like, you really just can't give a fuck. But I am definitely a big believer of second chances. But when it comes to, like, seeing that person in, like, I would be like, hey, so how are you doing? Cool. And then I would just, like, move on. But also probably still stay, like, somewhat connected. Yeah. Until they probably hurt me again and then i'd be like okay well that's the last one yeah you know? until the next time yeah until the last time <laughs> well because like well because like there's the first time and then you give them the second chance and then if they hurt you again it's like look like you fool me once etc cetera, et cetera. yeah etc you all know but it, it's just i don't know making a motherfucking stone knife oh, fuck yes and the game doesn't pause i'm guessing nope good now we can make more things. Well, I'm just saying, I, 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 uh, I think some people are worthy of forgiveness. I think some people deserve second chances, but I think a lot of the second chances are wasted on the people that don't deserve it. Yeah. And. Do you worry about making yourself cynical, giving 
second chances to people who don't deserve it. Well, and then I don't. One day you won't give a second chance to someone who does deserve it because you've become so cynical. Um. Yes, I I definitely think about that a lot, but at the same time, I don't give a fuck anymore because. <laughs> so you've already become cynical. Well, well, because I don't care anymore because I don't need to give second chances to the people that I keep in my life now, like. There's you and yours. Fuck, come you know. on, inventory. There, there's you and yours. Yeah. You know, like, everyone that you care about. And if you care about them and you trust them, then I have your Ashley stamp of approval. Yeah. You know, that's just what I consider it. Like, Loudon, he's cool because you're cool. In my book, he's <laughs> I. He's I. But only because there's a fucking big, huge stamp of approval. Put it, you know, put it on the screen. Ashley's stamp of approval. Make it adorable. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Give it this face. JD saw it. The rest <sighs> of you will also see it because he'll draw it. I will. As Unfortunately, it's scarred into the very frontal lobe of my brain. Oh, Jesus. There's a storm a-coming. With a pocket knife. Oh, there's a storm a-coming. Pocket knife storm. Anyways, but like... Oh, regular storm. Oh. Well, but like, uh... Yeah, like, I... I, I don't need to give people second chances you know yeah like i have you i have sean i have other friends in my life that i'm gonna name remain nameless for their privacy yeah um but it's it's just fantastic like i have people who you know they we've all fucked up oh it's raining you know all of us like every single person i know has fucked up in some way shape or form and I fucked up as well but the difference between like oh jeez I guess sleep in the bus yeah we're gonna crawl in this bus and get away from the rain take a little nap well but the difference between people who don't deserve the second chance and who like do mm -hmm. are the ones who are actively showing you and like not not saying but like showing you yeah. Like, that they are trying to make a change for the better, you know? And there's all these people out there who are like, oh, change is bad, and why should I change for this person, or why should I be like this for this person? It's not about changing who you are completely, or, like, who your very being is, or else this person wouldn't care. It's about changing for the better, and whatever that may define, I think is actually different from person to person. Yeah, I mean, I try to exclusively hang out with people who make me want to change. Really? Myself. Yeah, because, like, you surround yourself with people that you think are fucking awesome and you want to be like that person, even if it's in, like, some small way. Yeah. Like, oh, I see what you're saying. People you admire. You surround yourself with people you admire. Yeah, and like people that make me want to be more like those ad those qualities that I admire in them. Okay. Like Loudon, for example, gives zero fucks. I do admire that. And Madden I was him. a pushover for a long time. You were. And so, you were our, like, you were our group's taxi for a long yeah, time. Yeah, like I, I was a huge pushover for a long time and then I met Loudon and I was like, Oh, he doesn't give a fuck. Like he only does what he wants to do. Yeah. And he doesn't do anything he doesn't want to do. He's a fucking man. He's an adult. And He's most, an adult man. Yeah, like, when I tell people that, they're like, oh, doesn't that get old? And I'm like, no, I fucking love that. Like, every day I strive to give zero fucks like Lavin does. That's awesome. Yeah. I think people can take a lesson from that. From both you and from him. From that one story. <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's... I mean... I shit, I'm still fucking hungry. I, I I mean, I understand, like, giving a fuck about certain shit. Yeah. Which he does. I, I think he does. But he yeah. only gives a fuck about the things that he deems to be relevant and important. Yeah. Like, 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 like one of the most fun times I've ever had with Lalin was when we were hanging out on the porch and he was like, hey, check this shit out. And we just watched videos about, like, different liquids and chemicals. And he was like, wouldn't it be cool? And then, like, we, like, talked about all these different things that you could do with these <laughs> fucking liquids and chemicals. And I was like, this man is brilliant.
why is he not a scientist? And then he went back to World of Warcraft, and I quickly remembered. Yeah. That, oh, yeah, that's why. Yeah. All right, next time on Mohawk Gaming, guys, we'll have deeper talks than this. <laughs> oh, God. That's a promise. Oh, jeez. And if, I, if I'm if i lying, Ashley will show her cooter.